In this video, we'll explore what makes the White Line Sway Bar range a game changer for your ride and we'll guide you through the steps to fine tune them to perfection. For those of you wondering what an adjustable sway bar is and how do they work, I've got a couple here on the table in front of me. They're a circular section of spring steel that is bent to suit the vehicle. They have these forged ends on them where they bolt to the links of the vehicle and a section where the sway bar debush sits. The White Line version of our sway bars have adjustability built into the ends of the bar with multiple positions that change the stiffness of the sway bar. Now you're probably wondering why you need to upgrade these sway bars. The upgraded white line adjustable sway bars help to increase the roll stiffness of the vehicle which basically helps the vehicle to not roll as much in the corners and feel much more planted on the road. The benefits of a white line upgraded sway bar over your factory sway bars are that our sway bars increased rate over the factory bar. What this means is that they increase the roll stiffness of the vehicle which helps to keep the vehicle level during cornering and make it feel much more planted on the road. Now let's take a deep dive into how a sway bar works in your vehicle. When a vehicle turns or corners, one side of the suspension will compress while the other side of the suspension will expand. The sway bar works by applying a force to both sides of the suspension trying to keep the vehicle level. As the sway bar twists, it transfers some force from the compressing side to the expanding side, helping to reduce the amount of body roll. The stiffness of the sway bar is dependent on three main things. Number one is the geometry of the bar. Most of the time we can't change this as it has to fit in the vehicle. Number two is the thickness and grade of the steel. At Whiteline, generally we increase the thickness of the sway bars to increase our roll stiffness anyway. And number three is the lever arm distance between the pivot point and where the sway bar mounts to the link. Now you're probably wondering, what do I mean by lever arm? The lever arm on the sway bar is the distance between the pivot point and the mounting hole where it mounts to the link on the vehicle. At Wildline, we give you multiple holes of adjustability on our sway bars. For example, on this bar here, we have three holes of adjustability. The closest hole to the pivot point is our stiffest hole, and the furthest hole away from the pivot point is our softest position. How the stiffness works is by the further away you are from the pivot point, there is more leverage on the bar. So that means there is more force going through the bar, and therefore, the softer the bar is. The closer to the pivot point, is less leverage, which means that the bar is stiffer. A few things to remember when you are installing our adjustable sway bars is that if you are using adjustable sway bar links, there's a few tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your sway bar. When using an adjustable sway bar link, what you wanna do is first install the sway bar in the vehicle and then get the vehicle back down to ride height. When you're installing your first sway bar link, you wanna make sure that the sway bar is sitting level with the ground between the pivot point and the link mounting point. This will ensure that the sway bar is in its most effective position. When you're installing the second sway bar link, what you want to do is make sure you adjust the length perfectly so it simply falls in and out of the sway bar so you don't have to be pulling down on the sway bar to install the link. This will ensure that there is no preload on the sway bar which would upset the car dynamically. So you're probably wondering what settings do you start with on your vehicle. At Whiteline we always recommend that you start in the middle setting until you get used to the upgraded feeling of the sway bar. From there, you can really get a feel of what the car is doing and then work on tuning the sway bar from there. If you're feeling understeer on the entry to mid of a corner, we would recommend softening the front of the sway bar. If there is too much roll in the vehicle while you turn into the corner, then we would recommend stiffening the sway bar. If you're feeling understeer in the entry to mid of the corner, we would recommend that you soften the front sway bar. If you're feeling too much roll in the entry to the corner, we would recommend stiffening the front sway bar. In the rear of the car, if you are oversteering from the mid to exit of the corner, we would recommend that you soften the sway bar, put the power down, and if the car is rolling off the apex of the corner, then you want to be stiffening your rear sway bar. If you're chasing more information, jump on the White Line website and grab yourself a suspension tuning guide. This guide runs you through all the most important things on adjusting our parts on your vehicle. This guide is also included in some selected kits. If you want to grab yourself a set of White Line adjustable sway bars or adjustable sway bar end links, head to the White Line website now, or if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks guys, see you next time.